all right so good to be back welcome back to my channel my name is Satsun. in today's video is going to be a continuation of our game development in c so i'm using the sdo library This is what we did in our previous tutorial. We initialized the game, then we created our window. And so today we're going to look at rendering. Let me try and do some kind of an illustration right here. So I'm taking this white screen right here to be our window. So we can put some shapes. Let's say we are creating ping pong table tennis. So we're going to have these as paddles, a line in the middle, which is going to act as a net. And then we're going to have a ball. We're going to be using these paddles to, to hit the ball back and forth. For us to be able to draw these shapes on our window we need what we call a render so what we need in this file right here just after we create our window we're going to create our render because we need to use the window of course that's where we're going to render our objects and so let me consult with the documentation so i'm going to go to the documentation uh, where it says 2d accelerated rendering this is the one that we want to use so let me click on that we want to use this create renderer this function right here so i'm going to click on this create renderer this is the function signature right here it creates a 2d rendering context for a window it allows us to draw objects on the window that's what a renderer does because without the renderer we cannot be able to draw anything on that window it returns an sdo renderer pointer we use this function right here sdo create renderer takes in the window and then an int index right here and then some flags right here the window is going to be the sdo window which we already have the index of the rendering driver to initialize so we usually pass a minus one to let the computer decide and then we also need some flags here we can also pass in zero if we don't want any of these flags of which that's what we're going to do let's get into our code and set up our renderer so right here just after we create our window right here we just use sdl underscore capital letter r renderer this is going to be a pointer and then you can call it whatever you want i'm going to name it renderer sdo underscore capital letter c create capital letter r renderer and it takes in a number of arguments the name of the window is called win right here you can just say win the index we're going to say minus one the computer is going to decide on the best driver to use the flags we're just going to say zero and we can see down here the return value. It returns a valid rendering context. Or oh, now, if there was an error. So we can call this SDO get error. So we can check for errors. It's always a good practice to check for errors if the renderer, which is this variable right here, is going to be equal to null. That means it has failed to create the renderer. We're going to print here. Failed to create. if we want uh, more information for this deal capital letter g get capital letter e uh, and then we can return a one to terminate the program otherwise we're going to go ahead and do something else let me print f right here renderer created success let's try and run our game and see whether we have successfully created our render now i'm going to gcc this out this is game uh, of course it's coming from src for slash main we need to link our sdl2 it's just compiling and we can run the game and see whether it's working so if i run this you can see we're creating our window for five seconds once it disappears it says render created successfully okay so with this done just like we did with the window right here we also need to destroy the render each time you initialize something you need to free the resources and so let's consult with our documentation so you can see down here we have destroy renderer so we need to destroy that renderer so let me click on destroy renderer so you can see right here it returns void which means it returns nothing it takes in as an argument the renderer that you're trying to destroy so let's use that before we destroy our window we need to destroy the renderer first and so i'm going to say fdo underscore destroy capital letter r renderer and then we pass in the renderer that we're trying to destroy which is just renderer like this to confirm that our renderer is working we need to draw something on the window we're going to put a background on that window so we can consult again with our documentation so in this 2d rendering set render draw color so set render draw color set the color used for drawing operations we need to set the draw color first to tell the computer what color we're going to use and then we draw so we're going to say sdo underscore set capital letter s render and capital letter d draw 
and then capital letter C for color. It takes in the renderer. Then a number of other arguments, which are RGB alpha values, red value, green value, the blue value. O already we have our renderer right here. I'm going to say this is going to be our renderer. And then 255 of red, zero of green, zero of blue, the alpha, which means it's going to be completely visible. This is going to be a red color because it has 255 of red, zero of blue, zero of green. We know this is going to return some kind of an integer. So we can say in row, you can name it whatever you want. Or if row is not equal, here it says it's going to return a zero on success. So if it's not equal to zero, then we, we know we have some kind of an error right here. Printf could not the color we can then use the get error error right here we check the actual error and then we can return a one just like that after we set our drawing color we need to draw some kind of a rectangle we're going to use this as the render fill rack click on that and it takes in the renderer it also takes in the rectangle that you're trying to draw or it takes now if you're trying to render the entire target we're trying to change the background color of the whole surface so we're just passing in now right here so i'm going to say sdo underscore render view couple letter f and then capital letter R, right? And then it takes in the renderer. And I'm going to pass in a null since we are trying to draw on the entire surface, which is our window. And after we fill this rect, there's one more step we need. The way SDO works is you have your window, which is the current window. Behind this window, there is a buffer there. And so whatever you're doing here, you're doing it in the buffer and, and it's not yet showing on the window. For it to show on the window, you need to use another function. It's called render present right here. So I'm going to click on render present. You can see it takes in the renderer. So SDO's rendering functions operate on a back buffer. That is calling a rendering function such as rendering draw line does not directly put a line on the screen. So this function right here, which we code right here, which says render fill rect, is not going to directly fill that rectangle on the screen, but rather it updates the back buffer. So the concept is we have a back buffer here, which is at the back. I'm going to color this back buffer with red like this. So we need to call this render present so that we can show now this buffer on this window screen right here. STL underscore render present right here. And it takes in the renderer. With this done, let's run this. So we're going to do the compilation again. We compile that, no issues. And then we're going to run our executable. Let's see if we run that. Boom, you can see we have our red color right here. Let's change this to another color. So instead of 255 here, I'm going to say red is going to be zero. Green is going to be 255. Let's see what happens. So if I recompile, of course, we need to recompile every time we make changes. I right? run our executable, run that. You can see now it's a green color. And the same for the blue color. You can, you can check it out on your own. I hope this video was helpful. If you find the video helpful, you can leave a like a comment you can also consider subscribing to the channel i hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out cheers